owe to you. O oh, you, your wooden wondrous doors, a soothing calming force, outstretched arms that envelop us in a tight embrace, you with your willing welcoming face, a living lasting loving invitation to partake of God's grace. Yes, you, more than a structure of steel and stone, you are our touchstone. Time and again, you marked every milestone. How much we have grown from hopeful beginnings to bittersweet partings. For generations, every celebration, relentless reminder that we are not alone. Only you, our calm in the midst of the tempest. Every trial, every test, every evil we detest, always, always, you give our tired souls some rest. You shelter and comfort us. You, our gathering place in a gathering storm. Your wonders never cease. You bring us peace. Simply you, who are gifted to give. You who make our humble service live. You who inspire, you who light the fire to help out those in dire need. Indeed, our spirits you feed with a love like no other. Each and every sister and brother you bring us together. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Now you, calling out, with a silent shout you ask to be heard. You need help to be able to help. Will our blessed brethren heed your call and listen? You are refuge. You are strength. You are sanctuary. Thank you. Santuario de San Antonio.
Good morning. Please join us in praying the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome you as we celebrate the Eucharist today, Tuesday of the first week in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Percy Tayem OFM. To Christ our King we sing this hymn, our grateful hearts we raise for Anthony before his throne. Exalts in joy and grace, he followed close the Father's word, from him he never turned his miracles alone. Sisters and brothers in Christ, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At the time, Eli the priest was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. In her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look with pity on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give me your handmaid, a male child, I will give him to the Lord for as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober off from your wine. It isn't that, my lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a near do well. My prayer has been prompted by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the, good, may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, Think kindly of your maidservant, and left. 
she went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord and then returned to their home in Ramah. When Elkanah had relations with his wife, Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived and at the end of her term bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out of bread, while the hungry batten and spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and grieves life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. To honor the Holy Gospel, please rise. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with unclean spirits. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame is spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Parents have a built-in authority over their children. However, over the course of time, this authority tends to wane until it lost its effect. This happens most, especially when the parents do not know how to exercise it. For example, if parents do not lead by example, if parents do not do what they say, and so forth. 
Brothers and sisters, each and every one of us have that hidden desire to exercise authority. Who wouldn't want to take control of people? Well, we see around us, they're all busy reaching out people to get their sympathy and support, especially those who are aspiring to lead the country. Who wouldn't want power and influence? I believe all of us want power and influence. Yet, when we do not know how to properly exercise authority, it is also like a time bomb that may explode on our face and destroy us. Many of our leaders, perhaps not only in the government leaders, but even the church, were able to have this kind of struggle that because of misuse of authority, they were destroyed. So, how would, would we use authority? We must use it with temperance, gentleness, and with humility. We must not abuse it or use it for power tripping and arrogance. Jesus, in our gospel today, brothers and sisters, did not only speak with authority, he also used it with temperance and humility. He never abused nor used it for power tripping and arrogance, though he knew that he was the Son of God. He could even destroy everyone who go against him. But he didn't. He remained humble. He remained in control of himself. He became calm every time he was confronted. So Jesus knew that he had power and dominion over the people, but he never used it for selfish reasons. He never used his authority for himself but he uses authority to serve people. So Jesus instead uses authority also to heal, just like what we heard in the gospel, to guide especially those who are lost and even to give hope to the people who are in hopeless situation. So for all of us, who have authority, may we always mirror to the very life and example of Jesus. May we use our authority not to divide people, but to be an instrument of unity, not to threaten people, but to empower people to become more productive and creative. Brothers and sisters, we use our authority to serve the people and not the other way around. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence, and in every petition response be, God, truly powerful, touch us. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, 
so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the coronavirus pandemic come to a swift resolution with the recovery of the sick and the protection of those who serve in the front lines. Grant solace to those who grieve the loss of a loved one. Sustain those who have lost their livelihood and comfort those who are separated from family. Give wisdom to government leaders and medical experts who are instrumental in overcoming this crisis. Help us to rise above our fears and isolation while acting responsibly for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. my sisters and brothers that this sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may your people's oblation O Lord find favor with you we pray that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who say had been called our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saints Francis, Claire, and Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior and friend, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and to us, your brothers and sisters today, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, here is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. May Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of our loving and compassionate God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ, our celebration has been offered. We now all go and continue to follow Jesus. Thanks be to God.
Prayer to Saint Anthony of Padua. Saint Anthony, keeper of the scriptures. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, provider of God's poor. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, consoler of the afflicted. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, performer of miracles. Pray for us. Saint Anthony, restorer of the lost articles. Pray for us. Loving and merciful Father, we thank you for your love for our parish by giving us Saint Anthony of Padua for our patron saint. As we express our confidence in your love, we humbly ask you, through his intercession, to obtain for us the favor we humbly ask for. We pray to you through the intercession of Saint Anthony and live in our parish and empower us to be a community of love, of mercy and compassion, growing in your likeness, seeking to mature in our prayer life. Make us bearers of justice and peace in our troubled world and broken humanity. Be protectors of Mother Earth, our common home, and defenders of life and human rights. We acknowledge the abundance of your blessings in our lives. Make us reach out more and more to the poor and the outcasts of our society. Bless the priests, religious and seminarians, our pastoral team, parish councils and ministries, our families, especially the elderly, the sick, and the young. The answer to our prayers may require a miracle, but you have made Saint Anthony the saint of miracles, whose concern for our needs is boundless. We acknowledge your power to obtain graces from your mercy with a grateful heart. Whatever your answer will be, and however you grant our petitions, we bow to the wisdom of your will and your love for us. To you, Almighty Father, creator of the universe and humankind, through Christ, the living one, in the spirit who make things holy, be praise and honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning.